IC Square announced that the CISSP exam will change on April 15, 2024. In this video, I will explain to you what are the major changes in the new CISSP version. In this document, I uh, explained the main changes in the new version and I will upload the document to our free resources and share the link. So let's take it step by step and I will go through them in a very high level. Then if you want to uh, get deeper into the change, you can download the document and you can find all the topics that has been changed. Changes actually are quite uh, many. I mean, it's not like one topic or two topics. There is many topics that has been renamed, removed or added. So let me start with the exam structure. So the first point is the domain weight. We all know that we have eight domains in CISSP exam and the domain's name didn't change. However, the weight has been changed uh, in, the, uh, in, each domain, in two domains. And the weight is the amount of questions that you may expect inside the exam. And the change in this part are actually minor. So the two domains that has been changed is the first domain, security and risk management. And instead of in 2021 version, it was 15%, while in 2024, it's gonna be 16%. So 1% has been added. And in the software development, which is domain number eight, from uh, it was in 2021, 11%, while in 2024 is 10%. So the domain weight has not been uh, changed that much. Only minor change happened between domain one and domain uh, eight, uh, eight, the last domain. Scrolling down regarding the exam itself. So the number of questions inside the exam was 125 to 175. And this was a CAT exam. CAT exam means that the exam will start and once you achieve the success rate, it will stop automatically. But maximum, it can reach to 175 questions. And this used to be four hour exam. And it's the same way if someone is taking the exam and uh, he didn't, uh, or after a while he failed, they will not complete the exam. If he got less than 70%, it will stop automatically. And the exam hours was, uh, number of hours was four hours. Now what happened is in the new version, the exam would be from 100 to 150. And the exam time is less, is three hours right now. Which means that it will be, uh, uh, the time will be lower but I don't think the time would be a challenge because even when it was four hours, it was not really a challenge. But the amount of time that you need to spend on each question going to be less. Then let's move to the topic itself. As I mentioned in the document, I highlighted three different changes. Some of the topic has been renamed or reordered. Okay. And some of the topic has been removed and some of the topic has been added. The topic that has been renamed, actually all the domains are the same. No change happened in the domain name or they didn't modify any domain or added new or removed uh, any of the existing domains. In the sub domains, we have six domains that has been renamed and one uh, subdomain, I'm sorry, six subdomains that has been renamed and one subdomain that has been added. In the topic itself, we have 65 new uh, or 65 topics that has been renamed and we have 31 topics that has been uh, added and we have 21 topics that has been removed. Let me give you a brief about them and you can scroll down to see how things look like in the uh, full curriculum. So the way I managed to organize this document, first I added the topics that has been removed in each domain, if any, because some domains has not been changed, like domain two, for example, it's still the same. 
while for example in domain one all those topics has been removed things related to privacy uh, things related to determination of compliance and regulation uh, uh, privacy requirement uh, develop and document the scope all those topics was in version 2021 and they have been uh, removed from the 2024 version so most of the things related to privacy policy requirement countermeasures uh, selections those topics has been removed from the previous uh, from the uh, new versions that would be released on april 2024 now scrolling down this is the uh, new topic i mean uh, the content of the curriculum of each uh, the content of each domain so what i did the topic that has been uh, renamed or reorder i highlight or i uh, choose the green color for them and the topic that has been removed as i just show you gonna be in red and the topic that gonna be uh, added I uh, made them in a purple or dark blue uh, color. So, as you can see, a lot of concepts has been changed. For example, the security pillow, which used to be uh, uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Now it become five different elements. So instead of having three different pillow for security, confidenti confidentiality, integrity, and availability, we now have two more, authenticity and uh, non-repudiation. Authenticity is to be able to trust and validate a transmit or a message. And non-repudiation is to make sure that this message came from specific source. And this is going to be explained in the new 2024 uh, CISSP uh, curriculum. Scrolling down, you can see also some of the new topics that has been renamed. It was there before, but it has been uh, named, renamed, which is few of the information security framework standard. Now, those like NEST and other standard, COBIT and so on, was covered before. But recently, they added some new standard like FedRAMP, which is a federal standard has been added to this section. Uh, there is some topics related to uh, legal and industrial uh, standard, uh, and this legal industry standard. This also has been added uh, to the domain one. Uh, modified, I'm so sorry. Okay, You can get there from, as I mentioned, from the color itself. So, for example, here we have two new topics that has been added to domain one, which is related to external dependency. And the employee awareness and policy driven has been uh, uh, raised in this topic in a complete different way comparing to the uh, previous version. So you can scroll down, even the risk topic, it has been raised in a different way than the previous version still the vulnerability and threats uh, risk analysis risk assessment risk uh, uh, management all the topic are here but the approach is quite different than the previous version now i will not go through topic by topic i will leave the document for you guys and you can go through them and i think you will find all the change in a in a comprehensive way some domains like domains 2 for example has no change all the topics still are the same and some domains as i mentioned the topics has been some of the topics especially new technologies the new protocols has been removed and the new topic or uh, some of the topic has been renamed and some of the topic has been added you can identify them from the document uh, itself I used different color to be able to identify the main change in the uh, uh, CISSP 2024 now what we are doing right now we are preparing a summary for the CISSP 2024 
that will be very similar to the CISSP Sunflower. Very comprehensive, very organized, and it will cover the new domains in a very uh, specific way. This document should be available very soon on our platform for free, and we're going to send it to all the candidates who are enrolled in our platform. And even if you are not enrolled in the platform, you still can download it from the free resources on our website. So guys, if you plan to take the exam before April 2024, all the best. If not, you don't have to worry. We're going to have a new content for the new CISSP and it's going to be the same way as all our previous courses to help you pass uh, this exam from the first attempt.